Mount Etna erupts again, volcanic tremors at a consistently high level, and there is no concern that the situation could get out of control. An earthquake was recorded before the crater erupted three quarters of an hour later. Etna's southeast crater entered a new eruptive phase with eruptions, lava flows, and clouds of gas and ash. The volcano erupted at an altitude of 5,000 feet, rising to 8,500 feet above the vent at the summit of the crater. According to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, eruptive activity at Etna increased in the early hours of April 30th. Several vents in the summit area of the southeast crater produced explosive activity and lava flows directed to the southeast and south. Mount Etna's eruption increased with lava flows and ash emissions in Italy. Strombolian activity in the southeast crater of Mount Etna turned into a lava flow on April 30th, 2025, resulting in ash emissions and prompting a temporary increase in the aviation color code to red. This is the 11th eruptive episode at Etna since last month. Infrasonic activity also increased, both in frequency and energy, originating from the same sector. Ground deformation data from Dilatometer Station recorded a decrease of about 40 nanostrains at 2240 coordinated universal time. Seismic observations indicate that the average amplitude of volcanic tremor peaked at about 0,012 coordinated universal time and remained at a high level. The volcanic tremor was centered beneath the southeast crater at an altitude of about 8,860 feet above sea level. at about 0045 coordinated universal time. Activity switched from Strombolian eruptions to lava flows, reaching heights of between 650 and 980 feet at about 0130 coordinated universal time. Small clastic fragments, lapilli, were reported to have fallen in the Piano Vetere area, located on the upper southwest slope of the volcano. Emissions of volcanic material are still largely confined to the summit area. At 3.01, coordinated universal time. According to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, issued an aviation alert the Volcano Observatory raised the aviation color code from yellow to orange following the start of Strombolian activity in the summit crater with negligible ash emissions. At around 3.30 coordinated universal time, volcanic tremor was now at high levels. The volcanic cloud at an altitude of 16,000 feet and prevailing southwesterly winds indicated that it would not affect local activity or operations at Vincenzo Bellini Catania International Airport, the closest airport to southern Sicily. More than two hours later, at 0548 Coordinated Universal Time, the alert level was raised from orange to red due to increased eruptive activity. At that time, strong ash emissions were observed with the volcanic plume reaching about 16,400 feet above the summit and drifting southwest.
the alert level was lowered back to orange at 0739 Coordinated Universal Time. As the intensity of the eruption subsided and ash emissions became weak and limited to the summit area, the reactivation of the volcano came just two months after its last eruption.